The United States healthcare industry is the world's biggest, with $300 billion a year spent on prescription drugs and rising. For many, these drugs have brought undeniable benefits. But recent months have seen health scandal after health scandal making headlines in the US. Revelation after revelation has emerged of pervasive fraud, fatal side effects, and of huge kickbacks paid to doctors. I'm James Sakamano. I'm 52 years old. I've been heavily involved in martial arts as a trainer, as a teacher, as a fighter, and a lifelong student. I was about 38 years old, and I started having some numbness through my back. That was the start for about 13 months. My health just kept getting worse and worse and worse. I ended up with a neurologist. And he did MRIs, he did a spinal tap, and he said, well, we've ruled everything else out. You've got MS. And Seven summers ago, I got bit on the foot by what was then diagnosed as a hobo spider bite. So that was in like June of 05. The spring of 06, the front side of my corneas came off. Came off my snowmobile, landed on my head, had a helmet on. I could feel a crunch. And for that moment, I was paralyzed. He said, look, if you're gonna see your chiropractor, you can't be my patient. That's where we parted ways. I don't know of anyone that has had back surgery that is not totally screwed up for life. And I wasn't about to be. You've got key guys out with injuries, you're not making the playoffs. And I know that Bueller's last year with the Jazz, they had only eight injuries. And the year after that, I believe it was about 140. That's one of the reasons that I'm a huge believer is because I was educated. People just need to wake up. I could not make a fist without pushing it in and I had trigger fingers that would pop up. And two weeks later I came in here and I did that. And these guys, it doesn't really feel like it's their job. Like it feels like it's their like mission in life. It's like help just you. What's best for the patient? That his senses be killed so he doesn't feel pain or that he be cured. I've been suffering. <laughs> it's remarkable, thank you. He says, okay, get off the table and walk. I left my walker there. And they come in and they'll say, Dr. West, I cannot afford my current medical regimen. I have to do something different. 